Today I'd like to show you how to go from this to this. When you load your PDFs with JPEGs, your website looks better and if you follow the SEO instructions, it'll also be more visible in search engines. Your first step is to create JPEG files from the PDF that you have. You can cl click on show thumbnails, select the first one, and then export it as a JPEG. The next step is to upload your files and optimize them for SEO. Rename the files you have with descriptive titles. For example, Optimal Fertility, March 2014, JPEG, or PDF. By creating this kind of descriptive title, it makes it easier to find them, and it also makes them easier to be discovered by search engines. Now we go to the dashboard, click on Media, and select Add New. Then you select any files you want to upload and drag and drop them into the rectangle. At this point you're usually doing at least two, you can do more. Once they've loaded, you edit each file to provide the appropriate SEO tags. For JPEGs, that means you give them a caption, an alternative title, title which helps the visually impaired know what the picture is about and a description which should be descriptive and also keyword rich. These steps help with SEO and visibility. For the PDFs you only need a caption and description. Once you have done that for a file you click update to save. You have to do this for each file individually. If you move on to the next one, you'll lose the changes you made to the first one. Now that we have our files loaded on our website, the next step is to put the files on the page. Before we start to do that, we're going to go to the media file. We're going to choose the PDF we just uploaded click on view page and then on that page we will click the link so that the PDF uploads completely. We copy that browser link. This is the link you will use in your MailChimp letters and on Facebook links but it's also the link that you will put behind each JPEG so it's very important. Now that you have this link you want to go to the newsletter page on your website, which probably already exists, and click Add Media from Library. You'll choose the JPEG thumbnail, that's the JPEG, that relates to the PDF you just copied a browser link for. You will then select Display as Thumbnail, and no alignment and upload. Your JPEG will now upload to your page and it will appear as a little picture. You then click on the link icon in the bar just above your page information rectangle and you will post paste the link you copied of, to the PDF into the HTTP field on that. You'll then click save and you will go you will go back to your page. At this point you update the page. Once you've updated the page, you want to update the tags to reflect the content of the new newsletter you've just uploaded. And of course you already have a newsletter category and you should also have other tags, both general ones relating to your business and specific ones 
relating to the topics you've covered in other newsletters. This newsletter page can have as many files as you like, all with little thumbnails that link directly to the JPEG files associated with them. Your page is now very attractive and they link directly to the newsletters, so your newsletters are very accessible. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.